The 12th house in, is a place in GR where everyone is welcome and accepted. A place with curated, locally made art and jewelry, and a place where you can find guidance, healing, and plenty of good energy. They're hosting a special event celebrating creativity and community. Sarah Cash is the owner of the 12th house. Sarah, thanks so much for being here. Hi. So tell us a little bit about the 12th house and the story behind it. What made you, what inspired you to open this? So, um... I've been an artist all my life. My parents were the quintessential starving artists back in the late 70s, early 80s. Um, my first art show was, I was six weeks old. Wow. <laughs> um, so it's always been a part of my life. Sure. And then um, my, dad had all, had, my dad and I had always um, dreamt of opening our own store. Um, and then we lost him in 2020. Um, and so then after that, and then COVID and all of the things, I lost my second job to COVID on January 6th. And then I was like, okay, well, I guess this is the time to yeah. um, open my own place. Sure, so, a sign, right? Yeah, yeah. so uh, handmade local art from all my favorite local artists. Yeah. And, you know, we just, we like to celebrate the community and support all the local artists that we can and the queer community too. Wonderful, all yeah. right. And, and so talk to us about this event, um, when it is and, and what it's all about. Okay, so it is an event on um, April 12th. It's gonna be at Midwest Movement Collective. Um, it's basically to help try to stay in business. The first two years were pretty good for retail here, especially in West Michigan, but the last like 10 months have just been so super slow. There, it was, you know, months that I wasn't sure I was going to make rent at the store. It was that slow. Yeah. So this is kind of our last push to see if we can stay in business and um, help keeping supporting the community. Yeah. I mean, this is something across the board. You were actually featured mm -hmm. on CNN with, with this story. Yeah. Yep. Um, because it, it's something everyone, you know, restaurants, yeah. retail, everyone's everyone. struggling. Right? We're all hurting. Yeah. yeah. Especially in West Michigan, you know. It's hard to get people to buy things that they don't necessarily need. For sure. So. Um, but this is a cool opportunity, so for even people who, who may not have heard of you, don't know mm -hmm. that you exist, for them to experience what you're all about. Because yeah. you have a lot of other things, too, with tarot and right. you know Reiki and things like that. Talk about some of the experiences that will be at this event and that people yeah. can get through the store. So um, we, do, we have five tarot readers. Usually a tarot reader is in store every single day. We have Reiki and um, a henna artist that can come in sometimes. And then at the event, we are gonna have um, yep, tarot readers and henna, um, bur a burlesque show, possibly a drag show, um, lots of great entertainment. It's gonna be catered by Char, which is right next door to me on Jefferson. Um, and lots of other fun, great things, raffles and um, food and drinks and yeah. yeah. And, and I love that it is kind of the community coming together mm -hmm. for this event and talk about, you know, what it's like to be part of the GR community and to be a business owner and to have people show up for you to help you hope succeed. Yeah, it's been great actually. The downtown community is really fun and vibrant. Um, it's, it's been fun being down on Jefferson. Um, people like to walk during the summer, so that's always great. Um, it's, you know, and then it's a safe space. If someone's having a hard day and needs to come in and just have some good energy, we can do that. We can yeah. provide that for them. There you go. You know. They need a crystal, you got that. Exactly. <laughs> right? You need a new tarot deck, we have those. Yeah. You need some local handmade art. Yeah. Wonderful. And let's talk about some of the things that you brought with, too. So these are going to be part of the raffle items at our event. Okay. Um, so this is a painting from local artist Amy. And then um, we have some books, some tarot decks, um, one of these cute little bags. Love There's going to be a lot of other things that are, will be there for raffle items at our um, event. Okay, so, wonderful. Yeah. I love the driftwood, too. They're very cool. I know. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Okay, so, and there are many tiers um, to participating in this event as yeah. well. So yeah. let's talk about those a little bit and, and how people can get tickets. Okay, so you can buy tickets in-store, which yeah. is preferred, um, or online. I do have an event break, too. Um, tickets start at 100 and there's three different tiers. Um, $100, if you get the $100 VIP ticket, you get a reading with our medium yeah. in a group setting um, and a gift bag and all kinds of good stuff. Sure. And then it goes down from there. So then we have a $65, a $35, and then like 
if somebody just wants the support, they can just send us twenty dollars, and then we'll um, send them videos of the night. And wonderful, yeah, yeah. And if people want to learn more about you, they can head to your website too. Yep. You've got all that information there. You also have their store online as well. Yep. So you want more information? The Twelfth House GR.com. Follow them on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook at the Twelfth House GR. This event coming up April twelfth, six to nine p.m. at the Midwest Movement Collective. Sarah, thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you. We'll be right back.